Before you start the installation of your new tower playhouse, there are a few things you'll need to check first. Make sure that the installation area is clear for assembly. This playhouse will need to be installed onto a flat level surface. We would always recommend installing on a dry day with a minimum of two people. Pre-drill all screw holes during this installation to prevent the wood from splitting. To construct the ladder, slot the steps into the grooves along the ladder sides. Use a rubber mallet to ensure that they're firmly in place. Secure each step with 50mm screws and repeat this for the other side. With the ladder complete, you can now work on the tower base. Start by raising the platform off the ground onto a workbench. Ensure that the platform is supported throughout the construction process. Place a rear upright post into the corner and secure in place down through the platform with a 150mm screw. Repeat this for the second rear post. Flip the base up so you can affix the bracing. Place a corner brace up against the platform and the upright post. Measure the distance from the corner to the post and mark out with the pencil. Make sure that the corner brace is sitting equally from the post and the platform at a 45 degree angle. Use this exact measurement for all corner braces to ensure that the platform sits square. Secure in place by screwing diagonally through the brace into the platform with a 100mm screw. Repeat this method for all other posts and corner braces. With help, tip the platform onto its side and place the front post within the cutout on the platform. Secure in position with 150mm screws through the post into the platform through two sides. Ensure that the two screws are staggered so they don't clash. Use the measurement from the corner braces and mark out where they need to sit on the platform and front post. Fix the corner braces in place using 100mm screws. With some help, tip the platform onto the other side and repeat this for the other front post. Use a spirit level to ensure the posts are level. Now that the tower is complete, tip the platform onto the post ready to install the playhouse. Start by fixing the floor sheet directly onto the platform, making sure it's flush against the framing. Secure in place using 30mm screws through the floor sheet into the framing below. Start by removing the transportation blocks from each of the panels with a few taps from the hammer. It's best to fix the door within the door panel first to ensure that the hinges are level. Place the door gable onto a flat surface and place the door within the aperture. Make sure that there is an equal gap around all four sides of the door. Fix the hinges at the top and bottom of the door with 30mm screws. Start the main body of the installation with the rear panel and one of the side panels to form an L-shaped join. Secure the panels together at the top, middle and bottom using 50mm screws. Repeat this in the exact same way for the other side panel and front gable. Once all the walls are up, it's time to work on the roof. Starting with the ridge bar, line an L bracket up with the end of the bar and secure it at each end. Place the ridge bar in between the door and plain gable and secure in place using an L bracket at either end. Before placing the roof sheets onto the playhouse, attach an eaves frame to each sheet. Secure the frames through the board at equal intervals. Slide the roof sheets up onto the roof and secure in place with 40mm screws along the roof support and gables. Repeat this for the other panel. Now that the playhouse is constructed, fix the building down to the floor through the interior framing with 50mm screws at equal intervals. Attach the fascia support block to the front of the playhouse using 30mm screws, making sure that it is flush with the outside edge of the roof sheets. With the felt, either measure the length of your roof with a tape measure, adding a few extra inches either end for overhang. Or as we've done here, you can roll it out along the length of your building and cut to size. Use a Stanley knife or cutting tool to cut the felt for a nice clean finish. Next, cut the felt into three sheets and lay onto the roof. Ensure that they overlap slightly and there is a 50mm overhang around the sides. Tack the felt in place along each edge at equal intervals. At the back of the building, fix the two cover trims to either end of the side panels using 30mm screws. You can now fix the fascias at the front and the back of the playhouse using 40mm screws. Ensure that the felt is sandwiched between the fascia and the building to keep the playhouse dry. Fix the finial to the apex using 40mm screw. Remove the film from both sides of the door window before fitting the window bars. Score around the windows to remove the protective cover on the glazing and peel back carefully. Place the beading into the window and slot into place making sure that it is central. 
Fit the second piece of beading across and secure in place with a 20mm screw, ensuring not to damage the styrene glazing behind. Position the wooden door handle on the outside of the door and secure from the inside using a 60mm screw. On the inside of the door, secure the ply triangle door stop to the bottom left corner. Place the window frame crosses against the inside of each window and fix using 20mm screws. With the playhouse installed, you can now carry on with the tower. Place the ladder between the front post and the left hand side rail and ensure that the ladder sits flat on the floor. Fix in place through the ladder into the post and rail using 50mm screws. Place the large rail between the two front posts, making sure the rail is flush with the edge of the tower base. Fix the rail in place by screwing down through the rail into the framing and through the rail side into the posts. Repeat this for the other side. Now you've installed your tower playhouse, you can attach the slide. Attach the slide framing to the side of the platform and secure with 100mm screws level with the top of the platform. Position the slide on top of the slide framing and fix in place with 40mm screws. The safety board should be installed to the side of the slide. This is to block the gaps on the tower rails to prevent injuries. Secure them in place using 30mm screws. Finally, remove the framing strip from the veranda nearest to the side panel. Now that your playhouse is complete, you will need to treat the building with a high quality timber preservative to help protect it throughout the year. For more installations, please